That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. And the crazy thing is, by that, an image gets more than just a capture. It's the way how a photograph becomes art. How to get your photos sold over art galleries, my friends. And especially for beginners and advanced, that could even mean a huge photography improvement. Because an image title is not only all about words. Yeah, as real as that might sound, but there's so much more behind that, which will be revealed in this video. Ah, my friends, very nice to see you. Image titles are a fantastic thing to support an image, but also to improve your photography. That's crazy, really. There are six important aspects around image titles, and I'm pretty sure there are also some included we have never heard before. So let's dive in. I took this image here by the end of November. Yeah, you know, when most of the trees left their foliage already. Now, what's going on in this image? It's a photograph of trees, right? <laughs> but let me show you what I see here as the photographer. Well, the birch tree at the left-hand side seems to be shy, right? As it is yeah, hiding behind this conifer tree like yeah, a little child behind its mother or so. And these two anti-birch trees here at the right-hand side just underline how different that one in the center is. Yeah, because this one has golden foliage, the others don't have. Yeah, golden hair if you want or something like that. And it doesn't need to hide behind any other tree or so. It is simply self-confident. And that's the title of this image, self-confidence. So what I did here with the image title is I created context. It had also been possible to call the image something like trees in the fog or so instead. But by calling it self-confidence, it adds context. And that's tip number one, by the way. Use image titles to add or to shift context. The title of this one here is Green Autumn. I took it last October when we would usually get, you know, more yellow and orange foliage, but autumn was late that year, so I called it Green Autumn, just to give it context. And same with this one, which I call Perseverance. It had also been possible to call it, yeah, you know, orange leaves or something like that. But by calling it Perseverance, it adds context. The tree is simply persistent, carrying his summer dress. I mean, Orton caught it in the end, as the orange patch tells us, but it was anyway persistent. The image title opened simply the door to perceive the image in another dimension, if you want. Important to understand is that there is no right or wrong when it comes down to deciding on an image title. Let's stick to the image I showed you before. Perseverance. Now, there is a second reason for this image title. It was last autumn when I was optimizing the algorithm for atmospheric softness on photos. You know, photos is a weather alert system that informs you when there is a match of the perfect weather in your dream locations. If you shouldn't know what I'm talking about, I will link you a video up here. The thing is, due to my optimizations, I got a wrong prediction. So when I entered that place, I didn't get atmospheric softness. The light was way too harsh. Impossible to shoot woodland, actually. But I anyway went out for photography. I anyway wanted to give it a try. It was not only the tree that was persistent, but also I was persistent, which led to this image in there. So the image title also supports the integrity of the artist in that case. And that's quite often the case when I decide on an image title, by the way. It gives me simply space to show up my personal interpretation of a scene. I took Ray of Hope when my knee was broken and I was not able to hike for quite a long time. It took me around two and a half years or so to get rid of it completely. Ray of hope, the integrity of the artist. That is simply what I saw when I looked at that scene out in the field, beside the road actually. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't able to hike at that, at that moment. But the image gave hope to me again. The other side was taken straight beside one of the most spectacular mountains of the world. But you can't see that mountain in the image as the camera was pointing to the other direction. The title expresses simply that there is anything else at the other side, which could lead to curiosity if you don't know the place. But even if you know it, you might understand the context. That's the integrity of the artist. 
Morning eruption is also a quite good example. I mean, it had also been possible to call it golden clouds or something like that. But I had to wait for hours at that place to get the light breaking through. And when it came in the end, boom, it felt like the eruption of a volcano for me. Golden clouds? Boring. Morning eruption, that's what I felt out in the field. Okay, so now we know about context and about the integrity of the artist, but there's more. The title of this image here is Origin, and the crazy thing at that place here is that there is nothing back there and all of a sudden there comes out a whole river out of the ground, out of nothing actually, underneath the tree back there. That is maybe not recognizable at the first sight, but the image title adds to the story, it fills the gap. I mean, it also shifts the context of course, and it also adds curiosity. Which origin? What does the artist mean by that? That's curiosity. Thunder gap is also a quite good example. Do you see a thunderstorm here, anything like that? No, we also can't hear thunder uh, when we're looking at this image obviously. But the image title fills the gap, because when I was taking it, it was straight after a thunderstorm. Artistry and decorative, filling the gap, and we even shift the context with the title for this image. Yeah, in most of the cases, it is a mix out of more aspects. A very important thing in photography, especially in fine art photography, is to convey mood. And I would even say that's one of the most important things in fine art photography. And of course, the mood should primarily come from the image itself. But we can use an image title to boost the mood, to boost emotions in the viewers. I showed this image already quite often in my videos as it is really a very good example for storytelling. But I'm not sure if I have ever mentioned its name. Now, it's called Bed of Garlic. There's simply a creature lying on a yeah, bed of garlic. And as we don't know why he is lying here, if he had maybe got a wrong one or so, the image title helps to boost emotions. The word bed could be understood as a place for sleeping, but it could also be yeah, the deathbed or so, as there could be also some poisoned flowers between, which he tasted. We don't know that, of course, that, that is kept to the imagination of the viewer. The image title just supports the effect which is given already by the image. Same with this image here, which is called Salvation. With the image, I wanted to express a bad accident that happened here hundreds of years ago, which is done yeah, by the red sky in this image. The cold reflection at the right hand side expresses salvation instead and to support that effect so that you don't only see that strong energy of the red sky, the image title is also salvation. We shift the context but we also boost emotions. A title of this image here is also quite interesting. It is called Symphony in Torrent Nature and in case you play any instrument or so, if you have any experiences with music or so, you might see the association. You know, symphonies are often called like symphony in A major or something like that. I simply wanted to express how the water is carving its way through the landscape for millions of years already. And by that, there was created something amazing, like a symphony in music by nature. The, the image title simply supports that story. Well, the next aspect is to give me a thumb up. <laughs> yeah, you know, it helps me, it helps the algorithm, and it helps also other photographers out there to find this video better on YouTube. Thank you, therefore. Now, before I will tell you how image titles can make you a better photographer, let's have a look at the more, a more obvious aspect of image titles, because it is also something that should not get overlooked, I think. You know, I offer fine art prints on my website and also in some art galleries. The prices of my images are quite high, I have to say. I mean, yeah, it's not, yeah, there are definitely more expensive photographs out there, but I sell more on a higher price level. And the thing is, without strong image titles, I would not sell any prints. It is the title that gives that final cut if you want, that up levels a photograph. I mean, for some images, the image titles are quite simple. They just express what you can see there. But for most of my images, I consider all the aspects I mentioned already in this video. These titles create or shift context. They add more integrity of the artist. They fill gaps. They create curiosity. They boost emotions, but they also make 
Yeah, my prints sold better. Yeah, I'm just honest. So if you're selling prints or if your plan uh, is to sell prints in future or so, think about image titles. But also if you don't want to sell prints, image titles can make you a better photographer. And this is why. When I took this image here, my aim was not to capture mountains or to capture trees or snow or anything like that. My aim was more to photograph shades of winter. And that's also the title of this image. The image title gives purpose to the image. And that's maybe the most important aspect of engaging with image titles. Because as soon as you bring purpose into your image, you don't only get the advantage of all the other aspects according to image titles I mentioned already, you also get stronger images. Not, not because of the title, but because of the purpose. Sunset in the morning was not an idea which I created afterwards uh, yeah, at home or so. I knew that topic already when I was out in the field. And the funny thing about this one is the sun doesn't come above that mountain in that time of year, so it rises and sets just inside this tiny gap within five minutes or so. Sunset in the morning. It would be possible to call this image here waterfall with boulders, but there is a legend about that place, about a ghost, the ghost of Galling. That's the name of the village near that waterfall. But my aim was not to shoot a waterfall. My aim was to express the legend of the ghost of Galling. And that's also the title of the image, the ghost of Galling. Giving purpose to an image doesn't only have an effect on the image title, but also on the image itself. Because I simply try to express things on purpose. That's an intention behind the image. That's important. So there are really a lot of things I consider when I'm out in the field working on, on the composition. But do I also decide on the image title already out in the field? What do you think? Pause this video here and leave me a comment below. I really mean that. Okay. Do I decide on an image title already out in the field? And the answer is no. And the reason therefore is simply, you know, an image tells more than thousand words, right? And I don't take that, that time out in the field to think about thousand words. <laughs> but what I do instead is I think about purpose. I think about the intention that I have with my image. When you have never thought about purpose before, I can recommend take time breath through, no stress or so, think wisely about the purpose why you want to take the photograph. And after that, think how can you express that yeah, with just one single frame. And in my experience, after a while, things like that happen automatically. My photographic scene works already completely like that. When I took Light of Refuge, for instance, I had a time window of just a few seconds or so, while the light was shining through a tiny gap in the mountain. I didn't think about an image title when I exposed, but I knew my purpose of taking this image. Yeah, the light looked simply so inviting to these alpine huts. The alpine refuge use, if you want, light of refuge. I knew the purpose, the story, the words followed afterwards at home. And the thing is, when you work like that, you don't only get a good image title. You don't only sell more prints on your website, also your image will get better. And ultimately, that can help you even to, to develop your own photography style, which can bring your photography up to the next level. And I made already a good video about style. I will link it here for you. And friends, I hope you liked this video. If yes, give me a thumb up. Don't forget to tune in next week. There will come a fantastic video as well. I thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.